Hi, and welcome to Aspire. In this video, we'll be talking about equipment, specifically setting up the equipment module. In this video, you'll learn how to activate the equipment module in administration and discover how to create equipment catalogs and build models. Let's get started. First, to begin activating the equipment module, head over to the administration area. Go to user management and view your user roles. You may want to create a new user role, or you may want to begin to assign the equipment access to your existing user roles. In this case, we're gonna take a look at the system admin user role. In the center column, second from the top, you'll see all of the permissions that are related to the equipment module. Go ahead and activate all of these for your system administrator so they have full access to the equipment module. If you're curious what each of these permissions do, head over to the knowledge base and review our help doc, security setup, and user role permissions. That document will explain each one of these permissions and what access they grant to each user. Once you've activated the relevant user role permissions, go ahead and save. Those users will need to log out of Aspire and log back in. When they log back in, they should now see access to the equipment module from the Aspire toolbar at the bottom. One more quick piece of setup. Head over to the configuration area and then view time reporting. On the left column at the bottom, you'll notice a field for Equipment Reading Clockout Prompt. In the drop-down menu, you'll notice that there are several options, per job, end of day, and then various days of the week. This is how Aspire knows when and how frequently to prompt your crew leaders to update the meter readings on any equipment asset that has been assigned to their route. If you select per job, They'll be prompted at the completion of each ticket to provide updated meter readings. End of day. If they clock out at the end of the day, every day in their shift, they'll receive the same prompts. Or you can specify one day a week, Sunday through Saturday. Once a week at the end of their shift on that specified day, Aspire will prompt them to update the meter readings on any asset assigned to their route. Once you've selected your choice, Press Save. Now it's time to begin reviewing our equipment catalogs. First, manufacturers. Example of a manufacturer might be Ford or Chevrolet. But in the example of this video, I'm going to be creating a Toyota pickup truck. So I'm going to enter Toyota as a new manufacturer. Once you've entered the manufacturer name, press Save. Equipment sizes are somewhat more subjective. As you're filling out equipment sizes, think about ways that you might like to build reports on equipment in the future. In this case, I'm going to be adding a Toyota Tundra, and so I'd like to specify the size both as the engine and the model. To create a new one, select New, enter your equipment size name, and then press Save. Once you've entered your sizes, it's time to review your classes. Again, as you're entering classes, think about how you'd like to be able to build custom reports for your equipment in the future. As you can see, I have several different classes of equipment entered, but in this case, I'm wanting to create a pickup truck. So I'm going to create a new class for pickup truck. Once you've entered your equipment class name, Press save. Service tags are going to be used in Aspire to track your various service reports. So for instance, you can see I have some examples both of scheduled services and one for a requested service. To create a new service tag, select the new icon at the top right corner. You'll need to specify the service type. A maintenance service type is a maintenance that's going to be scheduled, things like an annual inspection or an oil change, whereas a requested service is going to be an unplanned repair to your equipment. 
In this case, I'd like to create a service tag for my oil change, so I'm going to specify maintenance. Once that's ready, press save. Disposal reasons will need to be created in Aspire so that you can track reasons for disposing of equipment assets. As you can see, I have a few options currently available. One other example might be if a vehicle has been totaled. So to create that new disposal reason, select New, enter your disposal reason, and then press Save. The Equipment Models Catalog is where all of this information begins to come together. To create a new equipment model, select the new icon at the top right corner. In this example, I'm going to be entering a Toyota Tundra SR5. My manufacturer will be Toyota. My size is going to be the 3.5 liter V6 Crew Max long box. And my class will be pickup truck. Capital expense months would be the average MSRP for this vehicle divided by the lifespan of the asset in months. In this case, it would be 755. For each equipment model, you have to specify a meter type, either in hours or miles and kilometers. For a pickup truck, I'm going to specify miles. Fuel unit will depend on where you're located geographically. If you're in the United States, you'll specify gallons. If you're in Canada, liters. Then finally, your fuel burn rate per miles or kilometer. In this case, my Toyota Tundra actually achieves about 20.4 miles per gallon. So one gallon divided by 20.4 gets my fuel burn rate of 0.049. You also have the ability to create service schedules for your equipment models. So, for instance, I'd like to set up a regular oil change for my Toyota Tundra SR5 every 5,000 miles. To create a new service schedule, select New. Each service schedule allows you to select your service schedule type, either calendar or meter reading. For my oil change, I'd like to use a meter reading. I'd like for Aspire to prompt me to perform my oil change every 5,000 miles logged on these pickup trucks. I'm going to specify oil change as my service tag. The service cost is my estimated material cost for performing an oil change on this vehicle. I'm factoring in an oil filter, so I'm going to specify about $45 for an oil filter and for my oil on average. Service hours indicate an estimated time that I expect it should take my mechanic to perform this service. I'm going to specify about 45 minutes or 0.75 hours. And this is a service that is going to continue to be prompted for the lifespan of these equipment models, so I do want them to be recurring. Once I've entered all of the relevant information, I press Save. Likewise, if I would like to create a service schedule for an annual inspection, again, I would select the plus icon to create a new service schedule. This time, I'm going to go ahead and keep the calendar service schedule type. Every 12 months, I'd like for Aspire to prompt my mechanic to perform an annual inspection on these models. Once you've entered all the relevant information, press Save. Now that you've enabled the equipment module, you've added manufacturers, sizes, classes, models, service tags, and disposal reasons. You're ready to begin entering individual equipment assets into Aspire. This is something that we'll be covering in another video. Thanks for joining me.